you know how in yesterday's video I said that I was having trouble with my Cintiq? I got an email this morning from the Animation Guild saying that there's discounts available for the next couple weeks if I wanted to buy a new Cintiq. And I'm going to go do that. Excited. I'm gonna set this up tonight. Gotta head to work. Uh, about to get lunch with my office mate Jay. We're gonna do some sketching. <laughs> fanboy moment. We just saw Jim Lee at lunch. like 2 a.m. So I got my Cintiq set up. It's very pretty. I love it. It's a touch. I can touch things with it. As far as I can tell, the Cintiq works really well. The problem is all my Adobe software isn't working. And I thought getting a new Cintiq would fix the problem, but apparently it's just that Adobe has stopped updating their old softwares and I am running on CS5 which is quite a bit old and they really want you to move up to Creative Clouds whatever um, but that's why my old Cintiq wasn't working it just causes all kinds of buggy issues with Photoshop and with InDesign and Illustrator makes it really frustrating to draw on uh, and this has been going on for like two years now so I was like, all right, I'm going to upgrade. It's time to upgrade because I thought it was a hardware issue. I thought that when I bought my new Mac that it was too new for the older Cintiq because the Cintiq I had is a 21UX, and I've had it for almost 10 years. We're still using it. It's on uh, – we have a second computer. This is Amber's workstation over here. Amber does graphic design and uh, illustration for her – day job when she's not being a mom <laughs> and she's been wanting a, her own tablet I mean she's been drawing everything on an Intuos um, but her Intuos broke and so we've been wanting to upgrade her for a while and this just seemed like the perfect time to do it so she's all set now this has just been a nightmare I can't like I've been I've talked to customer service about six times uh, in all day. You know, it's been all night. I've been ever since I got off of work. It's just been one thing after another, and I'm still I can't get it installed. I think what it is, we're just gonna need to call tomorrow and have them remotely access my computer and just clean all the files off because it's like killing bugs and I can't get it all. Needless to say, I didn't get anything done today, and it was very frustrating, and I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm exhausted. It seems like any time you get a new computer or a new anything, it's never just, it doesn't just work. There's always kind of issues with it and stuff. I don't regret buying this antique. Like, this is the exact same kind that I use at work, and I've really enjoyed working on it at work. When I bought my first tablet, it was like a Wacom Intuos 2, maybe, maybe 3, I don't remember. It was a long time ago. And when I bought it, I was not making money as an artist, and I couldn't afford it. It was like 400 bucks or something, and it was way out of my budget. But I just felt like I needed to do it, 
and this was the time to do it and um and i just it was kind of a leap of faith and as soon as i bought it i got my first professional illustration gig like that day it was like it was like magic and i think it was just me having faith in myself and taking that very first step told the universe all right this guy's ready for opportunities so here you go opportunities and when i bought my cintiq same thing happened as soon as i bought it i couldn't afford it but i bought it anyways and right after that i got a big uh, graphic novel contract and was able to pay it off pretty quick and it, it took the investment first and then the opportunities came after this is kind of a different situation where <laughs> I actually have the money. I'm not like desperate for cash this time around. It's like the first time in my life, but it's still taking a risk and making an investment. And I'm hoping it pays off because I feel like I'm ready. Like this is the time I'm ex like, I'm hungry now. I'm excited for drawing comics again. And I haven't had this feeling in a long time. And I was tired of coming home and just being frustrated every time I tried to draw on the computer. Uh, and I've seen in the comment section, uh, a lot of people have said they don't like the way that digital looks. Um, I agree. It's 10 times faster, though. I can do, you know, I can do 10 pages for every one page traditionally. I'm just so much faster. Um, and that's for drawing, at least. My preferred technique for doing comic books is to actually draw it digitally and then I print it out into, onto Bristol board in non-photo blue ink and then ink it traditionally. That way I've got original artwork that I can frame, put up on a wall, sell the originals if I wanted to. Um, but then I, I'm also a lot faster because I'm working digitally. I'm not as reluctant to make changes because I can do them really quickly digitally. So that's my preferred uh pipeline for working in comics and illustration i don't necessarily know if i'm going to do that for the comic i'm working on now because i just want to get it done and the quickest way to do it is digitally let's see i have this one set up on a robot arm so it swivels and moves it's pretty nice okay so that's the update for tonight i am sorry this video is late and i'm sorry that there's no drawing in this one no actually making comics for this hundred days of making comics i was so excited to get to work tonight and then nothing has happened it's frustrating but tomorrow's another day all right good night